At this point, it gives me great pleasure to recognize those whose dedication, devotion, well beyond what we call the line of duty has helped to make this possible. First of all, of course, to the administrators, who are the ones who have the overall charge for seeing to it that things run more smoothly than the preparations for this graduation in this order, as you probably saw. And we do so with love and dedication to each and every student. I refer, of course, to those who are with you through the sixth grade, uh, Kennysburg and Mrs. Bergman, and for those who have been responsible for your continued growth ever since, Mrs. Newman, Mrs. Heikis, Mrs. Sixth and Seventh and Eighth grade specifically, Iorats and the other administrators in Burial, and in the Sift, of course, Rabbi Velasti and Mrs. Maskowitz. It is a unbeatable combination of individuals, each of whom is tireless in seeing to it that these are the students continue to grow and develop. And they have chosen a faculty which matches their dedication matches their interest in the growth and development of all our students. And this too will continue as I share into the future. Unlike other years, our administration is in a state of transition. Mrs. Burden is making with this MC her last act or less public, I should say, as the associate principal of the Yeshiva for general studies. It has been 14 years of dedication, of devotion, of a high sense of professionalism, which he has brought to the test. And it is with gratitude for the best and we regret for the future and we say goodbye to this party. Your first day of seventh grade, September 7th, 2001, you were excited, a bit anxious, and looking forward to a new experience. Just a few days later, the tragedy and devastation of September 11th was to end the innocence of your childhood. Suddenly, you had to grow up in a hurry and learn to face the reality of an America threatened by terrorism. Well, thank, thank you so much. He doesn't ask what's in it, he just accepts the beautiful gift. But when he opens it and sees that it's something he's always wanted, or he sees it's something that is so meaningful, that the thanks becomes even greater after that. When you started your education, young gentlemen and young ladies, you may not appreciated the gift so much, but now that you've reached this milestone, we hope that indeed, that you do. And in essence, this is the Brothos Rome that is made after, and for me as well, making the Brothos Rome. It's our opportunity to look at the education you had, to see how we all together have benefited, to walk away with an understanding and to synthesize everything that we have gained. Just the other day, I gave an end of your schmooze to all the entire Pacific. But you, graduates, were not, did not necessarily know that I also spoke to each individual class. So let me talk to you as a class just for a few moments. The amount of growth that you've had has been tremendous. And I'm not talking about the type of growth that you see on a wall chart that you can measure. I'm talking about the spiritual growth, the maturity. The growth that Buddy B'nai Toro has committed to the Jews. I have seen you individually and as a group take upon yourself the wonders of responsibility of Torah Judaism. You must know that each one of you is extremely important and how you can and will impact upon one another. I gave a muscle to all the classes individually of looking at a palm, a still palm, and how a little drop in the palm makes a ripple effect. And another drop someplace else makes another ripple and how they intertwine. And each individual and each small group will affect the whole. 
It's also it's so it's so important to understand that you can affect each other, and that you can be shpia on each other, and in the years to come that you should grow and impact upon level each other in a proper way. When Moshe Rabbeinu was telling the Levim that they were being chosen based upon the way they acted to serve Hashem, to the servants of Hashem in the Mishkan, and then based on the Mishkan after that, he said to them, Ashrecha, so, so happy and fortunate that you have been chosen to be the Shammashim of the Rebani Shalom. Today, every Jewish boy in Yeshiva and every Jewish girl in Yeshiva is a special person. There's so few people, so few Jewish people are in yeshiva. If you're in yeshiva, you have special responsibilities. So much so that you're shamoshim to Hashem, a wonderful honor to serve Hashem. And just being a shamash is like a shamash, like the sun. You can be mashpia. And what is the sun? A sun does three things. It gives light, it gives heat, and it's a stimulus for growth. All the photosynthesis of other people in this world to make it grow comes from the sun. You can be a sun, Gashkia, on your friends in the same way. You have to help to enlighten them to a life and purpose, give them the warmth of your friendship, and help them grow as moral, dedicated Torah Jews. Before I just end with a few short ideas, I'd like to tell you a story I recently heard. There was a teacher of the year awardee, and the next day after she received her award, she happened looking out the window of her house, and she sees a few of her students sitting and drawing pictures and writing in the concrete that had just been laid in front of her house to make a new sidewalk. So she ran outside, and she beat them up. The principal comes to her a few days later, and when she finds out about it, she says, I don't understand it. You're the teacher of the year awardee. You love your students. You just the day before I received your award. How could you beat up your students if you loved them so much? So her answer was, I love them in the abstract, but not in the concrete. <laughs> I hope you understand as far as that is. So I'd like to take just a few moments to say what we can do in the concrete and what you can do in the concrete to make the following years very significant. Number one, be concerned about your friends. Become a god. What does it mean to be a god? What does it mean to be a big person? Moshe Rabbeinu says in the tribe, like Yidgar Moshe, he grew. Rashi says, what does it mean that he grew? He looked out from within himself to see the troubles and the concerns of others. And therefore, he became a person, he became a big person. Hill says, in Einani Li Ni Li, if I'm only for myself, what am I? A great man takes his Ani, takes his eye, and expands it to his family, and his friends, and his community. Become a great person, become a big person, expand your Ani. Number two, don't learn Torah just as ideas, just as a subject. Learn to make a difference in who you are and to affect your life. And be concerned about the honor of your friends in the terms of how you learn Torah. There's a story of Shagafat and Mandelovich, famous story, how he was once invited on a Friday night to a very wealthy man's house. And when he came to the house and the door was open, he saw the rich man's face turn white. And he realized something must be going on inside the house. He peeped in and he right away grasped and understood what was happening. Apparently, the wife, after a whole long week taking care of the kids, doing all the things she had to do, she had decided she'll take a little nap before she finished her shop preparations, and apparently had overslept. The door was open, and the house was in disarray. The wife was just waking up someplace in the state between Earth and Mars someplace, and the house wasn't ready for Shabbos. And the man was embarrassed. Here he brings home the Rosh Hashiva, and his house is not ready for Shabbos. But what did he do? He starts yelling at his wife. And the thing he focused on, don't you know that you have to cover the, cover the chalas on the table? You can't leave the chalas uncovered. And Shraga family said it was the most unbelievable experience he's ever had. The most ridiculous. What's the idea of covering the chalas? One of the basic ideas is that the bracha for hamotzi is more important. The bracha for hamotzi is more important than hamotzi. So therefore, to 
cover the chal and make sure that you don't embarrass the machasal. Hashem took us to the Yamsuf. Why did he do that? For our sake or for his sake? For our sake. He gave us the Torah for his sake or our sake? For our sake. He gave us Eretz Yisrael for his sake or for our sake? For our sake. We have to understand, as it says on Shavuot, Zaman Matan Torah saying, the Torah is a tremendous gift and we have to appreciate it. present the diplomas and say a few words. I'd like to call upon my esteemed colleague and friend, Mrs. Chaim
And now, um, Mrs. Connie Moskowitz and Rabbi Yossi Tennisberg will come up to present it, to present the diplomas to boys. Gym. 
Is this a happy occasion for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you smiling? Why don't you push the door open, Rina? Yes. Look at this. I got it there. So look at the hair. No, no, it's cute. It's like British. British. It's like Hogwarts. Hogwarts. You know, part in the middle. Oh, yeah. Get away from me. Get away from me. No. With daddy's permission, right? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. No, that looks cute. Anyway, bye bye. 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 Keep doing that. One more time. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Hello. Daddy. One more time. One more time. Look at me. Two, three. Isn't this a beautiful mural? This is Oz from the art, the, she used to be the art teacher. Ready? This woman who painted this mural yeah. illustrates children's books. She used to be the art teacher here and then she decided to retire. And she did this beautiful, she's amazing. Yet, I mean, how are you again? What time is this um, bus on Sunday? 
I think two o'clock. Almost positive. Oh, dead wrong. <laughs> but you know what? You may not be wrong. I have to check in my calendar because something's two o'clock. Then it comes home two o'clock on the. I mean, look up. There's a lot of occasions. Okay. Do you get to keep the gown, or are we giving it back to somebody? Really? One of these. Can we keep it for Shani? Go ahead, Dean. Hello, I'm over here. Dean. Hello. Slide down. Look at mommy, look at mommy. I like I like the payers. <laughs> Just move, move your finger, yeah. I didn't get the Magna get cum classic. Magna cum classic. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'm so waiting for that picture with the pay is pearls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, 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 yeah. Take care, yeah. Okay, good. Who's that? It must be Ellie. It's Bowel. Over there, down there. Hello. Okay, play baby. Said say Mazel Tov to Mara Sterna because it's she just got engaged yesterday. Um, wait, I'm was it Tuesday before this day. Yes, today's Wednesday. Okay. What's today's date? Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. February fourth, two thousand and four. You know what today? You know February fourth is? No. That was Papa's birthday. That is cool. Daddy. Yeah. And you're named after Papa. I know. But Daddy. Uh-huh. Did you know on Tuesday, Nurse Jenna wasn't there? Yeah, because she was, just, she just got engaged. Yeah. yeah. And she got engaged to a nice man from? Oh. Albany. Oh. Right. The, the Albany. Huh? I wonder where the Hassan is going to be. Where do you think they'll have their wedding? You remember last year we drove up to Montreal to see Mora Ida. Ida's wedding? Yeah. In Montreal, that was a long trip, right? Mm -hmm. Who went? You thought you were getting lost, but you were going the right way. Yeah. And then somebody gave you a map. That's right. And I said, wow, I'm only three blocks away. <laughs> I just got off at any old exit. I said, this feels right. We got off. I went to a gas station and he said, oh yeah, you're three blocks away. I remember 
You have to maybe pay $10 Remember for that. Remember when we, me and you slept in the car? Yeah. <laughs> Remember when we were sleeping in the car? It was so late at night. I was trying to drive back, but I was too tired. Yeah, then I... Then, but then I was sleeping. Yeah, everybody was sleeping. Who else was there? You remember who else was there? Who came with us? Shani uh -huh. and Adina. Did Adina come too? No. Was it just Shani? Yeah. I think you're right. And also, I remember when we got there and I didn't want to go in there. Hey, and then, and then, hey Max. Hi. Good morning. Uh, so then, I didn't want to go in there. Then, you like, come on, Shani, push him in there. Mm -hmm. so, so Shani. Oh, when you were in the circle dancing with your Mora. Yeah, and then, but, no, you couldn't say. Ah, I'm just a venture time. Ah, come on.